And they sure are aggressive when they want it. Is that right? There's a the little guy. I mean, in two days, to release seven fish over 35 inches, that's craziness. Oh, there's one. Kyle, are you kidding me? Oh, oh! <laughs> oh, it's a giant coming up on this episode of the new fly fisher. We are in Algoma country fishing for giant northern pike with Brace Lake Outfitters. Stick around, the adventure begins right now on the new fly fisher. The new fly fisher has been made possible thanks to Algoma Country. Go fishing Ontario.com. Orvis Sporting Traditions. Scientific Anglers. Umqua Feather Merchants. Superfly. Fly fishing made easy. Consider Brace Lake Outfitters the epitome of an epic remote backcountry adventure. After a quick bush plane flight from Nakina, Ontario, you arrive at the docks of family owned and operated Brace Lake Outfitters. I was right up. It was wonderful. From there, you have four options for throwing flies Brace Lake, Brace Creek, Ara Lake, and Meadow Lake. And all four are teeming with northern pike, walleye, and jumbo perch. Kyle, Terry, and Novak Paleski have helped to ensure big fish are available for guests and have developed a strict trophy rule ensuring a strong genetic base for the future. Walleye over 18 inches and northern pike over 27 inches return to the water. Look how fat that one has eaten a bunch of perch. We have a solid fishery, three lakes, 225 miles. Each lake has something a little different to offer. We have walleye perch and monster northerns. Last year, we took 163 northerns over 40 inches. It's, that's almost world-class fishing, in our opinion. Uh, you have a great opportunity to catch uh, multiple and many northern pike um, and the 40 inch and maybe the trophy of your lifetime could be just around the corner waiting for you. Pike fishing in the Tri Lakes area is nothing short of incredible. Pike are voracious predators, top predators of the deep. I like to call them water wolves, as they readily attack flies both subsurface and arguably the most exciting way to take northerns on top water with big poppers. Nice fish on top water. Pike will readily eat other fish such as walleye and perch, but they will also eat birds, reptiles, mammals, and will even eat other northern pike. Throwing flies for pike is addictively fun because you can experiment with multiple patterns and often find success. But throwing big flies to big northerns isn't for the uninitiated, and the wind can be detrimental to casting success. That wind is tough. Especially with that big fly, it's not exactly aerodynamic. For a week, Brace Lake had been experiencing major wind conditions, sustained to 40 miles per hour. So we decided to seek cover in the river and immediately found success. It's really nice to be able to come to a place like this and have the option of getting, you know, out of the wind and out of the weather. You know, we're in a river system right now. Well, they consider this Brace Creek. And, um, you know, without it, we'd be out literally battling two foot, two and a half foot white caps. The wind is hauling on the outside. And, uh, you know, we don't want to throw our arms out on day one. 
There's a good fish. That was a ticket. We've been fishing all morning with a floating line with a sinking tippet on it. And uh, wasn't feeling quite all that comfortable about that. So what we did was to switch to a full sinking line. Went with a much bigger fly and it's resulted in a better fish for sure. This is why you come to Brace Lake Outfitters is for big northern pike. It's a better fish. Yeah, you know, he's not a giant, but you know what, to get the, get the trip started, absolutely amazing. Come into the river, boom, 10 minutes in. First good one of the trip. Take a look. Nice fish. That's a good one, huh? Not as big as they come here, though, is it? No, he's a warm-up. All right, let's get him back and go for your grandma. We'd have 34? Somewhere around there, yeah. Well, should have put him on the tape. There he goes. I caught that first fish on a fly called a trick-or-treat, and it's quite a large tandem. And what we're doing is we've got 40-pound bite tippet on here um, tied directly to a full sinking line. And what I'm doing is because this trick-or-treat is fully synthetic material, you dry it out to get it castable, you launch it out, give it two strips, that soaks it, and then it slowly sinks. We've got the full sinking line, getting it, counting it down, you know, 10, 15, 20 seconds, and then you start that pulsating strip back. And that's what tricked that 34-inch northern. It's a great starter fish. Clear water here, it's amazing. Nice little pike to start the day. Good morning. Day two here at Brace Lake Outfitters and uh, we've come into a place called Mita Lake. Mita Lake is a branch off Brace Lake. There's actually three lakes in the system and is absolutely huge. This bay that we're in is giant and it's like four feet all around, covered in all kinds of weeds. So we're gonna pick away at it. We're gonna run and gun today, see if we can't find some giant northerns. Early morning is a great time to take northern pike on topwater. I decided to tie on a pink and white balsa wood popper and suddenly it was lights out. And as soon as it turned on, it turned off. So I switched rods and tied on a subsurface perch pattern. Golly, another little guy. Just chock full of them. This is a little weed bed. It's got a ton of perch in it and a ton of perch fry in it. And that's exactly why our perch pattern looks tasty. All little fish like this so far, but the trophies are here. Yeah, I'm gonna need the pliers on this one. Need the pliers on those fish because you don't wanna get your fingers in there. You really don't. Little fish, but tons and tons of fun. Yeah, he's ready to go. Now, we've been catching a ton of fish, and I've got 40 pound bite tippet on here it's starting to fray. So I'm gonna take two minutes, I'm gonna cut this off, I'm gonna retie up here. Doesn't do anybody any good to leave a fly in a fish. Tie a loop knot. Loop knots are important because it allows these flies to undulate and swim naturally. And back through the hole that you created. There, a little tiny loop allows that fly to swim properly. This is unbelievable. We come to this flat, it's so clear here. Oh, we've been able to see these monster northerns and we're stirring them up from the bottom. We came across three that were chilling out and put the popper in front of them, jerk, 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 nothing happened. So Kyle passed me the big perch pattern and I lobbed it in front of that fish 
and slowly bring it by, and we were able to see him take it. It was a perfect sight cast for trophy northern, northern pike. The great thing about fishing in a trophy fishery like this is you gotta understand how much your outfitters care about these animals. And what we're doing is instead of using a net of any kind or, or hand bombing these fish, we're actually using a cradle. That way we don't even need to take the fish out of the water. Look at the size of that. How big do you think, Kyle? We're about to measure here. We got a nice little measuring stick on the cradle. I think he's high 30s for sure. In the hole, perfect. You know, we are using barbless hooks here. That's probably an eight, an eight inch or a 10 inch perch pattern. Um, it's a tandem fly, so we've got two hooks on it. And as you can see, both barbs have been pinched down. So look at that. Sight casting to a 36 inch Northern Pike. How great is that? What a remarkable fish. Look at that. Thank you, sir. Good job, Mark. Nice fish. Sight casting to Northern Pike. You can't beat it. It's absolutely perfect. Grace Lake Outfitters is a rustic outfitting group which caters to anglers looking for not only big numbers of fish, but legitimate shots at trophy walleye, pike, and jumbo perch. The lodge sits high with spectacular views of Brace Lake and its wonderful sunsets. There are five well-appointed cabins with Wi-Fi, 24-hour power, and running hot and cold water. So Kyle, last couple of days before we got here, Mother Nature didn't really play along yet. Sustained winds at 40 miles an hour, but things have finally changed. What's going on? Well, it's uh, gonna change one more time, I think, today. It's gonna be hot, very hot. Uh, you know, we've uh, seen a lot of fish um, in the shallows. Now, I think we might be chasing them in the deep today. So. You think with this high pressure, they're gonna move deeper? I think so. All right, so sinking lines, big flies for big northerns. You ready? Let's go find out. All right, man. Should be fun, man. Can't wait. We started today bombing around looking for isolated weed patches, oh. and we came across this one with a bunch of boulders around it. A couple casts into it on the edges, and first pike of the day, and it's not a giant, but it's a good one. Nice fish. This time of year, the yearling perch fry are just getting to be an inch long. So whenever you find any of this structure, you're finding lots of forage food for pike, because the little guys will feed on them, the walleye will come in and feed on them, and the perch go anywhere from one inch long to 12 inches here. And, and the walleye can get quite large as well, up well into the 20 inches. So this, he engulfed it. If you wanna come trophy hunting, you can do it. If you wanna catch lots of fish, you can do it. There you go, fly comes out. Important to remove the spreaders, poor guy. Nice fish to start the day. Very nice. Lots of energy, very powerful, great pike. Now I like to drop those fish in head first because it gives them a rush of oxygen into their gills. And as you can see, just slipped right down and is gone. Gone to grow up. There's one right in front of us. We bet? Yep, right here. I didn't know that one was there. Oh, that's not the big one. Either. There's one. Giant! He's off! He's off! Did you stick him? No, he's off. That was a monster pike. You think he'll come back for a second taste? I or? think, oh yeah, if we rested a bit, he'll come back. That may have been the biggest pike I've ever seen alive. We just crossed over one of these isolated weed beds here on this bay, and Kyle raised, in all honesty, probably the biggest pike I've ever seen alive. It was well over 40, 45 inches. It was absolutely huge. And the whole thing came out of the water. I've been fishing with a full sinking line. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna switch things up to a floating line and upsize my fly. So a good reel system really depends on what you have in your bag. So I can pop off my sinking spool really fast 
put on my floating spool really fast. I already have the leader set up. I did that last night. Restring, tie my fly on, and I'm good to compete. The other thing that this allows is that weed bed to rest for 10 minutes, 15 minutes, and then you can go back on it and that fish may feel fresh again. That's the one, green and black. All right, man, I'm good to go. Let's go back up on that. Did you see the size of that fish? Yep. We gotta go on the reel. He's coming right at me. You still got him, Kyle? Yeah, 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 yeah. And he's having to hook up this big one that loves me. See if we can get a double. All right. Is he taking line? Oh, yeah. I don't know how big it is, but it, uh, it, it definitely hit with authority. Remember, you've got 30 pound leader and 40 pound uh, bite wire on there. That's a good one. I'm gonna back up. Let's start dragging them right in. Yeah. Oh. Is he in? He's in. He just engulfed it. I'm gonna need the spreaders there. Thank you. There it pops right out. Look at that. It's definitely high 30s if he's not 40. That's what we do. That's amazing. Yeah. All right, he's good to go. So tell me about your retrieve on that. How are you bringing that perch pattern back? Well, I was mixing it up a little bit. I uh, made a long cast beside some weeds and just let it sit. Uh, let it settle for a couple seconds and uh, I give it two strips, let it rest, and then a good long jerk and then strip it in faster the rest of the way. And it, it hit it on the pause. Oh, nice. So what we've seen is these fish are not liking these flies really subsurface. I was fishing with a sinking sinking line and I wasn't getting anything. And all of a sudden we saw that big one come up and just skyrocket out of the water for this for these flies. And they're just that far under the surface. So I switched to a, a floating line. You've been fishing a floating line all day and uh, it seems to be the ticket. I wanted to run through the gear we were using while fishing for giant northern pike here in Ontario, Canada. Let's begin with the rods. You know, the rods are basically the same. We've got nine foot flex tip rods. This one is a 10 weight and this one is a nine weight. When it comes to spools or reels, we've got a large arbor reel. This one happens to be spooled up with a full sinking line. So I've got a 10 weight rod and a full sinking line. The reason why I've got this on the 10 weight is because if I want to switch to a big popper or a big topwater fly, all you need to do is remove this spool and put on a floating spool, a sister spool with a floating line rigged up. This is the nine weight rigged up with a full floating line for subsurface and topwater applications for smaller flies. If we look at the flies we were using, these giant fish eat giant fish and the fish that they are preying on are walleye and yellow perch. So mimic what they're eating, get the proper gear, and you too can catch fish in the 40 inch plus category range. Kyle, when you're guiding, do you ask your clients to, uh, to strip set on these pike or do they trout set so lift up? Absolutely the strip set. The northern pike has a bony large mouth and if you trout set on it, you generally pull the fly right out of his mouth. So you wanna make sure you just give it a good pull straight back and bury that hook as deep as you can. And no worries, because with these big fish, we almost always use barbless. So the important thing with a strip set is to make sure that you allow that fish just that split second to turn his head, and then make sure that your fingers are closed on your, on your reel seat or your reel handle, and you strip set right back. Now, a lot of times what's gonna happen is as you're retrieving your fly, that fish is gonna hit at your, as you're at the end of your retrieve. That's okay, you still have the ability to do a strip set if that fish hits as that fly pauses. What I want you to do is always be conscious of being connected to your fly line against the handle of your rod. So as you're stripping back, you close your fingers on the line. If that fish hits, you can strip like that. What about that rock? All right. 
I think it's a good fish. Oh, it's a giant. Come on. Where are you going, buddy? Yeah, he's got some shoulders. All right, get out of there. Oh, no, 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 no. You know, a lot of people say that pike will give you one good run and then that's it. But that's not the case when you get in these high 30s, low 40s fish. They will test everything that you're made of and everything that your gear has got. Oh, barely hooked in the corner of the mouth. In the cradle, nice, nice job. Oh, nice job, that is a big fish. <laughs> that is why you come to Algoma country and fish at Brace Lake Outfitters. Trophy Northern Pike, 40 inches plus. Just amazing, is perfect. Let's get them back. Sweet, absolutely perfect, that is the largest Northern Pike I have ever caught on fly. Thank you, sir. Congratulations, Mark. <laughs> that is incredible. Well, that about does it for this episode of The New Fly Fisher. Remember that adventure is out there. All you need to do is go and find it. And what fun to be able to do it with a fly rod in your hand. For everybody here at The New Fly Fisher, I want to say thanks to Kyle. All thanks, the best, Mark. man. That was unbelievable. For more information on our series, go to www.thenewflyfisher.com and hopefully we'll see you in the backcountry. I'm Mark Melnick and we'll see you down the road. The New Fly Fisher has been made possible thanks to Algoma Country, GoFishingOntario.com, Orvis Sporting Traditions, Scientific Anglers, Umqua Feather Merchants. Superfly, fly fishing made easy.